Oh, hey, this is Artie Astor from B Sharp and C. I want to do a quick sound check here. I want to be a lot more interactive with my, um, with my music reviews. I want to be able to pick a song, play with it. Let me make sure my... Okay, turning my piano on so I can figure some songs out. So I, I want to be more interactive. I just want to be more interactive when I do um, analyses of songs so I can pick up my saxophone and play, but have it run through the mixer and then into my interface. So I have this microphone here going strictly into the interface. This microphone here is actually going into the mixer. It's running uh, a few like um, reverb effects and then coming back to the focus right. Um, but the levels, and if I turn the focus right all the way up, Okay, you're probably, probably getting a lot of feedback right now. Not feedback, but static. I don't know exactly how that how to, I'm gonna how I'm gonna work with that, but I want to do a sound check. So let's get right to it. Um, find a song I've never. Okay, you know what? Oh, of course, I type in the name Annalise, and I get a woman in. Did I type that right? The heck, I'm getting all this crap. Ah, Annalise, the artist, Annalise, not the girl in lingerie. Um, this is a this is an Australian singer. Solitude, Daredevil. Mm. Open your eyes and you will see what you do. That looks like a fun song. What else do we have? Crazy in Love. That song's really pretty. Heck, I might actually end up doing a review of that song. I really liked it. Um, all right, so let's just pretend now that I'm doing this um, live, right? So I'm going to try some things first. I just want you...
I honestly don't know how that's going to sound. So there's a lot then here that I've never done before. First of all, it's my first time hearing that song, but you can kind of tell as the song goes on, there are spots that you can insert um, some saxophone. There was four bars in the middle somewhere um, where I was able to do a little bit of a solo, but I came in late. I didn't recognize it was a, a four bar, you know, um, spot of, uh, of, of instrumental. I think I heard guitar come in and then I'm like, Hmm, this is like a spot for a solo. So then I came in and tried to do a little something with the saxophone, extremely difficult. Um, the way everything was set up because, um, my playing, I don't hear in my ears right now, right now. I don't hear anything. I just hear myself talking. And then I heard the saxophone, but the music in the headphones was louder than the saxophone. So I really didn't know if I was placing the saxophone correctly. And I couldn't hear any of the effects on the mixer. That's something that you will hear, or I will hear when I do the playback of the video. Then I can go back in and see what the saxophone sounded like going through the mixer. Um, this is so ridiculously raw. Um, but that song is beautiful. I might actually hit her up and be like, hey, can I do a saxophone version of this song too? I did a song with her once. Right here. She has a song called Far Away. Listen to it. Very spacious. It's like an 80s song. The picture clear now. I know all your hopes and dreams. How could I make the distance? So you hear how she sings a line and then just leaves space. Well, one day I was, um, and that's not bad by the way Pink Floyd does that all the time in fact it's difficult for some musicians to play with Pink Floyd because Pink Floyd is so spacious so they want to add stuff they want to do stuff but many times have a difficult time um, holding back it's it's frustrating sometimes for um, some musicians to play with Pink Floyd because there's so much space in between verses in between different sections of the song where you can just jam. You want to do stuff, but that's not the way Pink Floyd works. And this song here by Annalise is very nice. But I heard that space in between the verses and I was like, hey, can I do a version of this song with the saxophone? I've been playing saxophone for about like seven months, eight months at the time and was really getting confident. And um, she said I could do it. So I did. Oh. I don't know why it's down in the middle. It's me on the sax. I learned that watching Jimmy Sax. I mean, anyways, that's what I did. I inserted saxophone throughout the song in the areas where she left space and uh, it worked out. And And the song is fine without the saxophone. I just noticed that um, there was an opportunity there to put some, um, did I say opportunity, right? There was, an, there was an opportunity there for me to add saxophone to the song. So that is what I did. Anyways, I'm going to go back, listen to this, upload it on YouTube, um, as just a dry run, so to speak, uh, you know, to see if I have the the the, the values correct and um, the balance of the sound and everything correct, because my goodness, this is um, harder than I thought to balance everything. And I really wish, I really wish that I could hear my own saxophone playing through the headphones right now. And as it gets the... Um, 
as it gets the effects from the mixer. The, 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 there are a lot of problems with that, though. Um, and I got to find a way to do it. The problem with that would be that if that were the case, then everything I say into the microphone would also be coming back to me. And I don't know if I want that, you know, I might be able to split it up by channel, but I don't think I can because both channels go in to the computer on, on one. Um, that's another thing. Or maybe I can set it up so that when I, I can hear myself play sax because not hearing yourself play sax over a song is, um, well, it's disastrous if you're doing it live and you can't hear what you're playing. Um, that's a big pain in the butt. Anyways, this is Artie Astor from B Sharp and C. Thanks for staying with me on this sound check.